Good evening, it's 5 o'clock p.m. April 24, 2018. Welcome to the homestead. Um, what you're looking at here is my rain barrel system. It's a uh, blue barrel rain barrel catchment system. Uh, I bought this as a kit. Um, all these barrels uh, previously had hot sauce in them. They're food grade barrels. I rinsed them out, cleaned them out. And the, uh, the kit came with some of the connectors, the couplers, and the T's. Um, normally this kit, you're supposed to install it with the, uh, the blocks facing 90 degrees and the barrels turned 90 degrees and the uh, manifold system goes between the blocks down underneath the barrels. But um, I wanted them to come out towards the front so I could work on the manifold system a lot easier if I needed to. Um, each barrel at the top has a vent cap so that the pressure doesn't build up when they're filling up and it doesn't uh, so it decompresses when they're emptying. Um, down here is a manifold system. There's a spigot on the end. Um, each barrel has a uh, has an elbow underneath that connects down through the bottom into a coupler, into a T, into the manifold system. And each part of the manifold system has a uh, on-off switch for each barrel, so I can uh, isolate each barrel in case I need to work on it. Uh, down at the end here, um, it's just capped off. I could add more barrels if I wanted to. But, um, yeah, I put locks in here and I leveled everything out so that the barrels would fill equally. Um, basically how it works is, if you look up top here, uh, the rain comes off the roof. I installed these uh, gutter guards. Uh, normally they slide underneath the shingles, but I don't have shingles in this part of the roof, so I uh, Gorilla, gorilla glue down the uh, or li liquid nails I use liquid nails down on the bottom and then I uh, put gorilla tape over the top of that so we'll see how that stays down but uh, yeah the water comes down through the gutter system down to that that uh, three inch piece of pipe there into a two inch coupler and then what it will do is it'll come down and fill up this uh, this diverter right here where all the debris, any any crap from the roof, will get will float down to the bottom of this, and I can empty it out down there, or just leave it slightly unscrewed, and it'll it'll slowly drain out itself. But uh, there's a there's a water bottle down in there. And when it, whenever this fills up, the water bottle floats to the top, and it, and it, and it stops right here and it clogs that up, and then it keeps the debris from coming up. The water will then divert this way. screen right piece of screen right here to filter out anything I also have a screen going back this way to filter out anything um, right now for the demonstration purposes I I have it out of the uh, hole so you can see the water come out of it when we test the system now once this gets full the uh, the water will then come out here and then drain out so let's go ahead and put some water in it and see how it works Hopefully I don't hit my on-off button on the camera this time. But I'm going to try to fill it right here. And once this part gets full, You'll see the water come out of that pipe that goes into the barrel. It's taking a little while. I did fill it up earlier. And I guess most of the water emptied out while I was filming the uh, video.
And there goes the water off the side of the barrel down there. You can see it. It is falling down the side of the barrel down there. Now I didn't glue most of these pieces of big pipe here because it's not under pressure. That's why you see some water leaking right there. I am going to tidy things up a little more. I did glue a few key pieces. But, um, but yeah, that's basically how it works. So we'll test it when we get the first rain. We'll flip this valve on and you'll see that the water comes up. That's basically it. So hopefully everything works out okay. Yep, garden's doing good. It's growing up pretty good there. I got three raised beds. So, all right, hope you enjoyed the video.